In this video, we're going to show you how to integrate external providers like LinkedIn into your Power Apps portals. So stay tuned. Welcome back. Power Apps has the opportunity to integrate many different providers like LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, and a number of other custom providers into your Power Apps portals. By doing this, your users aren't going to have to create local accounts and never another password. They can simply hit the login button with that provider. So in this video, we're going to show you one of those providers, LinkedIn, which is more of a business network. Uh, in other future videos, we'll also show you things like Facebook and others those as well. So let's take a look at the screen real quick. So this is the screen I'm hoping to add a custom provider to. And once we add those providers, we'll see those right here. Now, once you install the portal, you'll automatically see this Azure AD one here. But I want to see a few other ones here as well, like LinkedIn or Facebook or Twitter and those kind of ones as well. So to do that, I'm going to go over to make.powerapps.com, which is where I'm going to edit this. This portal. There we go. Let's go ahead and go to my portal right here. And I'll go over to de uh, settings. Excuse me. Now, once we're in here, we have a number of few options here. Let's actually go to both of these. We can kind of see the settings. Uh, this is our site settings. And it gives us a, basically a, a key pair of all the different options you have. And, and this administration section, this is where you can go and change uh, what, your, what your URL looks like and all those kind of things. You can Now, right now, my URL, of course, as you saw before, is bkville.powerappsportals.com. I change that every so often this, this, in this video. Uh, I, and it's very easy to change back in that administration section. So you'll see up here, you'll see websites and, and uh, uh, redirects and all those kind of website bindings is where we'll make that change. But in my case, let's go ahead and look at the authentication provider. So you'll see the Facebook one right here, as well as Twitter. In our case, we want to go to LinkedIn, which is right here. That's a little bit of an issue right now. It says consumer key, consumer secret. It's going to look a little bit different inside of LinkedIn. So let's see how to do that in LinkedIn first of all. Well, LinkedIn is one of the easier providers to do this with. We'll go to developers.linkedin.com. We'll then go to create a brand new app. You'll, of course, have to be signed in for this. And we'll just call this uh, Power Apps Developer Test. There we go. Uh, we'll give it a quick, uh, it needs to get a company here to kind of find. Let's go ahead and look for our, my Pragmatic Works company. Oh, I need a space there. And I can't spell when I'm, when I'm typing live. There we go. Point to my company. Uh, ideally, we have a privacy policy. I'll just go ahead and just type in localhost the time being, or just google.com. This is what's, what the user is going to see when they try to authenticate with this. Uh, so ideally, we want to have something here eventually. Let me go ahead and upload a logo. I'll just point to a 100 by 100 logo. There we go. Uh, not very interesting right now, but you get the idea. Uh, now make sure, of course, this, the sign-in is uh, LinkedIn is provided, uh, is checked. Uh, you can't uncheck, as a matter of fact, so it's pretty easy to do in this case. Go ahead and accept your terms, hit Create App. And now we're going to go into the details. Let me type my email address. I missed that. There we go. And then go ahead and Create App. Now, once you create this app, it's going to provide you a, a key pair, your business key and your uh, secret key also. You'll need to use that and paste that information into the site settings. Now, they give it, it the names don't exactly line up with what it says in site settings, and that's what we're going to see right here. So once the app is created like it is right now, we'll go over to Auth, and there is my client ID. So let's go ahead and copy that into our site settings. So there we go. Uh, where to go? LinkedIn is right here. We'll see uh, consumer key is what we want to paste that into. So we're going to paste that right there. Your save button's in the bottom right. And then go back to site settings. Again, again, the name does not quite match up. Consumer key matches with that. Consumer secret is that option you saw back here. Under, under client secret. So consumer key is this client ID. Consumer secret is the client secret. We'll go ahead and show this, reveal this. Now, please don't use the ID I'm actually looking at here. I'm going to delete this app as soon as I'm done here. So this won't, will not work for you once you once you uh, try this in your own environment. I'll go back over here again and put the value in here. Okay, now I'll save that. 
Now, they took a page out of the, the portals from Dynamics, and that's what we're going to see in a moment. So, uh, and that's where you, the directions for this are a little bit limited right now. That's why I'm doing the video here. I had a number of questions in my previous video about this. So now that we've done that, we'll hopefully see in a few moments uh, the authentication when I refresh this. It takes, it takes a few seconds to see that. I'm going to do a little refresh here, and we'll see that it might take it a good yeah, a good few minutes to kind of to show that new setting. You might also have to stop and start your server. I have I had that one time. The other times it's been working beautifully here. Uh, the other thing we want to do is ideally we want to have a redirect here. Now from the directions of uh, Dynamics Portals, which is what, they, what they're kind of modeling us after, let me go ahead and paste this in. Uh, what they want to see is your, I'm going to add a, add a redirect URL. I'll type in my portal name. Okay, and I'll just go ahead and steal that back from that. That's, that's, you see our, our LinkedIn provider is already there, as you can see. Okay. And I'll go backslash, and the URL you want to go with is sign in dash LinkedIn. Dash LinkedIn. All right. Let's go ahead and update that. Okay. So we should be ready to roll now. Now that we have that done, we can go ahead and go to our apps and we'll be able to manage that uh, long term right over here. And if I go back over to uh, my sign in portal here, and I click on LinkedIn. Now, in my case, I've already used this before, so it's going to say, "Hey, do you, do you want to give give us rights to your your name and phone number, or not, name and photo, excuse me, and your email address?" I'm going to hit allow. And in my case, it's not going to register this because I already have my email address in the system, so I would have it would be map at that point. But this is the steps you'll have to go through uh, to do this. Now, at this point, we're ready to roll. We can simply uh, uh, people can register this way and sign in this way. And it's pretty, pretty simple. And as you saw back over here in the sign in screen, uh, you can add multiple ones of these. This is the LinkedIn one. The same thing applies. So far, I've, I've tried uh, LinkedIn, Twitter, and Facebook so far. So Facebook is, these are a very similar kind of concept to Facebook. Uh, Facebook has a little more challenges. So I'll go ahead and have another video around that to kind of resolve those challenges. All right. Well, this is our first video on the authentication providers for Power Apps portals. Hope you enjoyed this. Leave any comments down below. I do look at those regularly. And please don't forget to subscribe. And we have tons of Power Apps classes you can see in the comment sections down below as well. Have a great day and thanks for joining me today. Bye-bye.